Hello, Michelle McKenzie here, or McKenzie for short, also known as Sound Engraver on Twitter and now here on YouTube. I'd like to show you today what I've been experimenting on in Super Collider. Uh, and in this instance, uh, I'd like to show you how to run sound files through a delay effect. So let's get started. I'm going to evaluate this dictionary, which will pull sound files from my main folder glitch and also various subfolders of my choosing. I'll probably just do one or two in this demonstration. I will be running these sound files through the play synth here, which I will evaluate, and also through a delay synth which I've constructed and the subsequent delay synths will be modeled after this one. We have uh, essentially an amplitude, a delay time, an output argument, an envelope, which this delay ramps through using linear interpolation. And I'm going to go ahead and evaluate that. And we'll just get started. I'm going to do a um, a tempo about yeah 50 beats per minute. You'll see that running here in the post window. And let's get started. So yeah, essentially you heard a tap delay of about a quarter of a beat here. And all these arguments that you see, the amplitude, the del time, and everything, can be put in here, in the pbindef. pbindef is essentially a, a pattern which events are streamed through, and you can change and tweak the values in real time, as we will be doing here. So down here in this synth def here, the delay synth def, I'm just adding a noise generator here for our delay time argument. And I'm including another argument, another value called del hertz or for delay hertz. And that will be simply inputted to the left and right speakers, essentially creating a stereo effect. So you can hear that nice um, change in, in distance and attack and all that. Um, I'm also going to, for this one, apply new arguments for the attack and release of the envelope. Uh, right now it's more or less the same. I have to experiment with that a little further. Uh, but I can change the delays envelope in real time uh, in the pattern below using that. So we'll just go ahead and move on. Right here, I'm applying a multiple to this noise generation as seen here, and that's just going to output values, just uh, have a little bit of variance, a little bit of change with every stereo sound you hear. I'm going to evaluate that, set the tempo, and I've, I've, I've changed a few things here already. Moving along, we're going to apply a multiple value inside the delay hertz array. So adding just even a little bit more variance, a little bit more detail to the stereo effect. We may hear it, we may not. This is just a part of the experimentation. And I'm going to here change the sequence of the duration. And you'll hear a little bit more rhythm to this sound. And I've also used a new folder, you won't hear those blocks anymore, called Neon.
Here it's randomly selecting sound files in this particular subfolder. I'm going to add a little bit more variance to the delay time. And a little bit more amplitude. I think we can afford that. I'm going to change the folder back to blocks. And so on. Uh, over here, we're just going to add just a couple more values to, um, you know, a minimum delay value and a maximum delay value for a little bit of range in the stereo effect. This should cause more or less a stochastic or indeterminate uh, delay output. and so on. So that's essentially the experimentation I've been doing and it's been really fun and if you have any uh, comments uh, I'd love to hear from you especially you composers, sound designers, sound enthusiasts and um, uh, you'll see more. Uh, every week I'll be posting a video on different things I've been doing uh, regarding composition technique and, and also different effects I've been seeing in Super Collider. Also some in Logic as well. So uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I hope you've enjoyed it and love to hear from you. Uh, so if you wouldn't mind subscribing to this channel for some weekly updates on experimentation. And just, uh, uh, just give me a shout. I'd love to talk to you about composition and experimental electronic music. Until then, uh, thanks for watching and thanks for listening.